Hey everyone, Nick Dearbertis here teaching you financial modeling. Today we're going to talk about installing Python on your computer. So should be a quick video um, just looking at the install process for Python. Um, and so there's a lot of different ways to actually install Python, um, being that it's open source. Um, but the way that I'm recommending for the course is to use Anaconda. So Anaconda is a package distribution that comes along with Python um, and it gives you um, already pre-included, already downloaded and set up uh, most of the additional packages that you would want to add to Python uh, to be able to do financial modeling and general data analytics. Um, so it's a distribution focused on scientific computing and includes plenty of packages uh, which help out with those objectives. Um, so you just go to the Anaconda website here um, and that would bring you to this kind of page um, and um, take you to this page. And so you just click uh, download and then it'll bring you to the where you can download the installer. Um, so make sure that you pick the one for your appropriate system, uh, Python 3.8 here. Um, and I already went ahead and downloaded this so we wouldn't have to wait. Um, so then you can go to run the installer. Um, and you know this is going to look slightly different on a Mac, but same basic process here. Um, so you just go through the installer and you know most of this stuff you can just go through the defaults are going to be fine um, you know I already have it installed so I had to pick a different path there but you won't have to do that um, but the one thing that you do have to do um, which um, uh, is not there by default is you do have to check this option here add anaconda 3 to my path environment variable um, and you know the installer generally does not recommend doing this but i promise you it's not going to break anything uh, as far as the course it's going to be fine um, and it is necessary for later on in the course when we're going to do the integration between python and excel um, so make sure that you have this checked as you go through um, otherwise, uh, you're probably going to need to actually reinstall Python later on in the course once we need it. Um, and that's, you know, just an annoying extra step to go through. Whereas you, you check this option here, then you just install Python once. You're going to have it for as long as you have that computer. And you can use it for the course and for anything else that you want to do. Um, so then, you know, with both these boxes checked, you would just go and hit install. Uh, that's that's where I'm gonna finish here on this because I already have it installed on my machine um, but then you know it would just you know do the regular kind of progress bar across the screen and then when that finishes you'll have Python installed um, so how can you check to make sure that you have Python installed um, so um, on Windows um, so you can go into the Windows menu and type CMD and you're going to see command prompt come up there. Um, so if you click um, command prompt, then you should be able to type Python in the command prompt. And then that should get you to this kind of screen here where it says Python and the version, it should say 3.8 point something for you. Um, and it's going to have these three lines or three um, greater than signs. Um, here and you can type things on this prompt um, so if you get to this um, then uh, the install has worked correctly if you're on a Mac uh, same exact process only instead of searching CMD you're gonna search for terminal in your app search on Mac so it's just instead of being called command prompt it's called terminal uh, but then once you get into it you're again just gonna type Python hit enter and then it should take you to this kind of output here where it shows the Python version um, as well as this um, prompt that you see here. Uh, so if you can do that, then you have Python installed properly. And uh, next time, 
we will look at um, how we can actually start applying some of this. Um, we will start to get into the basics of um, Excel and Python. Um, so that concludes uh, how to install Python. So thanks for listening and see you next time.